Currently, there are three active birth decades in the NHL. We've got the 80s, the 90s, and the 2000s. I've gone ahead and created an all-star team for each decade, and they will all play each other twice in a group stage. After that, the second and third place team will play each other in a single elimination game to find out who has a chance to go play in a best of three final. Now, obviously the 90s have an advantage because they have the entire decade, but who knows, maybe the 80s will come in with some veteran experience, or maybe the 2000s will come in with some youthful energy that will take them down. Go ahead and predict who you think is gonna win down below. I also use Jabroni to set the line, so if you have a problem with it, take it up with him, not me. There were a few questionable scratches. With all that being said, let's go ahead and get started with the games. We're getting things kicked off with the grandpas and the grandsons. It would be the youngins that strike first. Caulfield goes over to Johnston, back to Lafreniere. Not sure why he's at the point, but he makes it work. It is 1-0. The old farts trying to strike back here as Pavelski wins a battle on the boards. Goes in front, but that is rejected. Another chance here as Marshy cuts in the middle. Almost gets his own rebound, but he can't finish. The persistence would pay off, though, as Kobastar finds the Yeti, and it is now a tie game. The 2K Squadron wanting to re-establish their lead before the first period comes to an end, and Slavkovsky does just that. He's able to walk right out a waltz in the park and just puts it over the right mini wheat. I really hope I'm pronouncing his name right, but Dostal making a big save here on Crosby in the slot, receives a pass from Ovechkin, and continues to stay on top of his game. One more spectacular save for a clean sheet in the second. Nearing the halfway point of the third period, the 80s are now down by two goals as Sanderson is caught streaking towards the net. He buries it. A chance for the 80s as Ben walks out, but it's no good. They would pull the netminder down by one with four seconds left. A nice shot from the slot, but it's not going to go, and that wasn't even close. A big win for the 2K team. The 90s making their debut against the youngins. Considering how skilled this team is, the last thing they need is luck, but that's what they're going to get right here. Kucherov is going to take one to the back of the kneecap, and after a little game of Plinko, they are up by one. They do, however, put on a display of skill, moving this puck around like it's nobody's business. Bing, bang, boom, Dreisaitl going to put one post in. They would almost get the dominating 3-0 lead after the first, but Dostal makes the stop. Here's an interesting play. Mason McTavish just tries to dump it out of the zone. The defenseman jumps for it, misses miserably. Moritz is sprung and he cannot score. That would have been massive. Phillips should be a capital Forsberg going towards the net and he is going to get blocker to side. Now Panarin, an unnecessary set of deeks here to be honest with you, but it works out and it made kind of a nasty goal. So I'm going to allow it. How about a little set play here off the faceoff? Clean win, Hedman down to Forsberg, and he's gonna bury it. No mistake made this time. A chance for the Young Guns to at least break the shutout here in the dying seconds, but they can't get it done. Hella Buck stays strong. The 80s get their first crack at the stacked 90s. The oldies would actually break the ice as a point shot from Ovechkin is going to be tipped in front from Sid. Their chemistry is actually unreal right now. Charmack finds an 8 Mac though. This is going to go down low to Pasta and he ties it up. Charlie bit me continuing to put on a performance. He waltzes in. Boom. Hits the post. Back of the net. It's 2-1. I don't normally include hits, but I think this one is worth it. 90s with a little bit of discipline issues here. 5 on 3 for the 80s. A failed dump from Charmack is going to result in an OV1 timer in his office but hella bucks all over it and how about kucherov scoring in the slot to make it 3-1 not wanting to go down without a fight a little passing play here for the oldies is going to result in marshy spinning shooting and hitting the mcgregor short-lived celebration though as kucherov waltzes in gets a deep going and panarin ultimately tucks this on the backhand the two goal lead is re-established Two's not enough, man. They need three. Again, impeccable passing here. Yossi down to Dreisaitl, in front to Rantanen. Boom, it is a three-goal game. The 80s just kind of playing for pride at this point. A nice breakaway chance, but they can't capitalize. A completely unnecessary goal with just 15 seconds left, but they wanted to make a statement, and they did just that. The 90s win both of their first two games.
Old Toots still looking for their first win. We've seen this before, not by this team, but a set face-off play down low. Amazing attempt, but it's not going to go. Cider finds Caulfield down in the slot, and he's going to bury it just over the glove. The 2K squadron leads 1-0, but that won't last for very long as Zuccarello also walks in, and he's going to go far side with this one. In between the blocker and the pad, great shot. We've had a few weird goals, so let's just add to it. A dramatic save attempt on the initial Zuccarello shot. It's not going to go anywhere, but the second one bounces off a couple things. It is now a 2-1 lead for the 80s, and they're going to make it 3-1 as Kopitar on the doorstep buries it, and then... Uh, I don't know exactly what happened there. Almost a pop fly to cut the lead down to one, but no dice. An incredible display of athleticism from the 80s netminder here. He probably pulled something doing that, so credit to him. But it's not going to matter too much because Caulfield ends up scoring anyway. A triangular passing play is going to give the 80s a chance to go up by two again, but they fail. And how about just adding to the weird goal category again? A rush attempt here from the young East Feshnikov to Betsy over to Hughes. That's going to be stopped, but Darlene's not going to be stopped from the point. That is a beautiful shot giving his team the lead. A power play for the 80s is going to go sour as Wyatt Johnston makes them pay right up the middle, giving his team a two-goal lead. Time running out for the 80s. They're not going to get it done. The youngins win. The 90s team still yet to be defeated. The goaltenders are going to be the star of the show in this first period as Sveshnikov has a shot in the slot. Hellebuck's all over it. Yossi has a shot as well over on Dostal, but he is going to rob him. And a past a point shot right in the oven mitt. The ice would get broken by the 90s as Matthews gains the line. Does a little toe drag. Doesn't shoot though. Instead, he sends it over and it is a 1-0 game. This team seems to love one-timers. Kucherov goes wide. He's just protecting the puck. And Yossi is right there. It is now 2-0. Around the halfway point of the game, however, Boldy's going to rip one by the glove of Hellebuck and cut the lead down to one. A perfect shot. And we're going to follow that up with a perfect pass. Kucherov sprung behind the defenders, but he can't get it to go. Makar passes it back to McDavid. He can't really get a good shot off. The young lads cannot afford to let the 90s strike first, but unfortunately they do. Dreisaitl absolutely rips this one for a two-goal lead. The 2K team does put on a little display of chemistry as a passing play is almost going to result in a goal, but they cannot finish it off. Hughes also has a chance to score, cannot get it done. The empty netter puts this one away. They're still undefeated. Put your seatbelts on, folks. We are in for a wild ride. Kucherov's name continuing to pop up in this one. Pass down from Hedman. The teammates IRL going to connect and give them a 1-0 lead. Now very dying seconds of the first period. A weird goal yet again. I don't even know why this keeps happening. I'm kind of here for it and I'm kind of not. Like, you know, I don't want people to win off of these lucky goals. But also, they're kind of funny to watch. This one is just too much for me. Kane to Marsh, she tries, I, why? And then he does that. Nate Dio Double G didn't like the celebration. Shorthanded, he said, screw this, I'm gonna do it myself. And he does. Backhander by the blocker, 3-1 lead. And the 3-1 lead won't last long because it's going to be a 4-1 lead. Got you there, didn't I? You thought the 80s were going to score. Well, let me tell you something, brother. Connor Hellebuck doing an incredible job of making sure that doesn't happen. They're trying their best. They do finally get one there. Zuccarello cuts the lead to two. The 80s got to get going quick here if they want any chance. Kane's shot is rebounded. It's blocked, but we get another one. Another weird goal. Hellebuck is lying along the ice. This doesn't slip in just under him. I think the defenseman kind of crams it. I, whatever. The passing on this one is impeccable. Ovechkin down to Malkin. Hellebuck was on an island, but unfortunately the post was there defending the net. Doughty ties it up. We're going to overtime. No clue what McDusty was doing here. He had a clear path and then he passes it back. That's going to be saved. Rantanen along the boards goes in front to Kachuk. Another close chance. 
it's not going to go, but the 80s will finally prove that the 90 team can bleed. Time to find out who gets bronze and who gets a shot at gold. This one starts off with a goaltender's highlight reel. Jimmy Stu on the doorstep is going to get robbed. And just moments later, Johnston goes to take a shot. Bobrovsky's kind of scrambling backwards, but manages to keep it out. And back the other way, Dostal making a save for himself. The ice does break in the first period as Mo Sider rips one from the point, beating Bob on the blocker side through a screen. The youngins would extend the lead in the second period as a failed clear attempt results in an unbelievable passing play. Svechnikov one times at home and look at this unbelievable replay. Amazing content. Speaking of amazing content, how about this save? McDonough gonna one time home a pass from Doughty. That would cut the lead down to one, but then in the very dying seconds of this period, the 2Ks reestablish that two goal lead. Now in the third, Kane gonna get caught trying to dipsy doodle. He loses it after getting rocked since Hughes on a breakaway, but he can't score to pretty much close this game out. But unfortunately for the 80s, they couldn't get much going in this period. The empty netter does seal the deal and it will be the 2Ks and the 90s in the final. Here we are kicking off the best of three final. Just like the last game, not much offense in this first period. Raymond going to start a passing play that will go down, but Hellebuck's all over it. And then a point shot is going to meet Irene and somehow send itself all the way down the ice. A chance up close for Forsberg, who's going to get absolutely robbed. McCarr lets a muffin go. That had no chance, but it results in the first goal of the game for Leon Dreisaitl. 1-0. Goaltender's best friend coming into action again as Sveshnikov lets one fly. It beats Bucky, but it does not beat the post. Dreisaitl trying to carry this team on his back, and he's doing a pretty good job powering through right there. Not a lot of offense, but some broken glass. 2K's moving the puck around the offensive zone. Darlene steps in, lets a shot go low, and the rebound comes out to Svech, but the defender was in a perfect spot. Still on the attack, Hughes is going to have his shot blocked, finds Darlene, who puts it home this time. Over the glove of Connor Hellebuck, we have a tie hockey game. And in the dying seconds, the 90s trying to prevent OT, but Matthews is robbed. It wouldn't take very long for this game to end, though. Just under the two-minute mark, Kucherov going to bury home a one-timer, and they have the series lead. The 2000s need a win, or it's all over. Let me tell you, this game is nothing like the last one. Low scoring to probably the highest scoring game in the tournament so far. Pappy kicks it off, but then Hughes back the other way, lets a slap shot go. To be honest, I feel like Hellebuck has to have that, but he didn't. Leon once again trying to put the whole team in a backpack and carry them around. Boom, there's another goal. It is 2-1 for the 90s. Only a couple minutes later, the lead would be extended off of a very weird play by Ranton. And I don't know if this is cockiness or if he just messed up, but he pulled away from a breakaway and then found Kachuk who sent it home. 3-1 hockey game. The 2000 team knows how devastating it would be. Down by two going into the third, so they cut the lead to one. Now the youngins are on a power play, five minutes into the third period, and Gold Caulfield is going to go ahead and tie this game up. And again, just a couple minutes later, Jimmy Stu passes to Betsy, who lets one go. The rebound comes to Lafreniere, and he tucks it home. This is the 90s team we're talking about here, though. They are not going to go down without a fight. They're going to continue swinging. Kucherov cuts the lead to one. However, the 2K team right back, Bedzi, finds Svechnikov, and it is a two-goal lead yet again. You would think there's been so many goals, maybe there would be an empty netter as the last one, but no, Raymond goes five-hole. What a cheeky play, and we are headed to a game three. I don't mean to alarm you, but this is winner take all. The 90 strike first as Yossi gains the line, gives it to Stone, who then goes cross to Nate Mack. He's going to bury it just under the glove and just over the left mini wheat. Again, don't normally include hits, but Svech got to lead it. And I guess he took that personally. He's behind the net, gets it to Betsy, who snaps it home to tie this one up. It was starting to look like we were going to head into the third, all knotted up at one, but Kachuk and Rantanen combine together to make sure that doesn't happen. Just far side, Dostal can't get there. Ladies and gentlemen, tragedy is going to strike as Kale McCarr takes a shot, and Dobson just walks this one. 
into his own net. A mistake, yes, but one that couldn't be made at this stage of the game. Seems like we're seeing a lot of Yossi and Makar, and we're gonna see a little bit more as they link up. This one is actually deflected right in front of the net. What a goal. Young Guns doing whatever they can to try and get back in this thing. On the doorstep, it is initially waved off as Raymond did get it with his skate, but after a little bit of a replay here, you can see it's clearly a good goal. Immediately off of the faceoff as well, Raymond. In the middle to Lafreniere, who lets a muffin go, and he scores. I have no idea how that went in, but here we are. Unfortunately, it wouldn't be enough, though, as McDavid gets his own rebound to re-extend the lead. And with that, it is the 90s that go on to win.